Welcome to my show. I hope you like house plants. Cause we're gonna talk about them and touch their leaves. So I wanted to show you guys this super adorable thing that's happening in my begonia little terrarium. I turned the light off because it's one of those red blue ones and for some reason the julau recently lost a couple of leaves. Um, they just like got sad and mushy and I don't know why that happened because it's been doing so well and everything else is super happy. So um, anyways, I wanted to show you like the cutest little thing that's happening. The black truffle right in here put out a bloom and it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's these tiny like little like puff round puffball flowers with pink polka dots on them and they are just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at them. Oh there we go. Look at how cute they are. Oh, I'm dying. But yeah there's everything else in there. Everything's uh super happy. All right and then I've got some kind of exciting things happening on this little stand. But this guy is flowering. I don't know if any of you guys are into oxalis. I love them. They flower all the time. And now that it's spring, it's put out a bunch of these just super cute little purple flowers. They sort of stay in this little like trumpet shape, I guess. And they're very cute. Very cute. So, you know, it's... Spring has officially sprung and everybody's putting on a new leaf. So like, new leaf. New leaf. New leaf coming up. I remember me telling you that this Anthurium crystallinum, the new leaf was so red when it was coming out. Um, this is kind of an example. It stays like that dark burgundy color for so long and it's beautiful. New leaf on my Hartley philodendron. Kind of a basic baddie, but it only had uh, three leaves on it, so it's growing. The Cebu Blue is doing really well. Remember the last year I bought those at the Fox Valley Plant Fair and they were just like a couple of teeny tiny little <laughs> itty bitty baby plants. So coming along. Stop and say hi to this baby who shouldn't be up on the counter. No, get done. That's a good boy. Update on this amaryllis. It was so big, I kind of had to take it off the kitchen counter. Um, two of the bulbs are totally done blooming, but the third bulb was for whatever reason a little bit late, which is totally fine because I'm still getting flowers. This thing has been in bloom for months now. And this stock right here has the most flowers I've ever seen on a single amaryllis stock. It has six, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then these guys right here are actually on the other spike next to it. I mean, it's bananas. Like, now he's following me everywhere. So this um, Tritoscantia polita has been blooming a lot with these teeny tiny little pink flowers that are so cute. Um, you see like each one of these is just full of buds. And it's like one is spent and it puts out another bud. It's been doing that for at least a month now. So cute. Um, I will have to chop it down to put it back outside because all of the growth it put on in the winter is really leggy. You see it's reaching for that window. And the leaves have gotten smaller and smaller. So usually I do that with Tratis this Tratiscantia when I put it outside, I cut it back or I just do new starts. Um, 
because I think I just think it looks better that way because you can see how different the growth is here I'll show you so like these leaves down here these nice big strappy purple leaves that are freaking huge those were all put on while it was outside and then here let's look at this one you can see as you can like tell when I brought it in <laughs> Okay, because the leaves have gotten much smaller and even a little bit less purple. Like if you look at that one, um, well, I don't know, maybe it's still the same, but the point being, um, I want to get like new summer growth on it because it looks nicer. Did you see that chipper? Okay, this is the Hoya Bella. This is the one that had spider mites last year, but then it recovered super well. As you can see, I've sort of wound it up. It's got some peduncles on it. I don't think I'll be able to focus in on them. There's one right there. They're tiny. And there's a little one right there. Little peduncle. Um, there's a lot more. There's one back here. I've had peduncles on the Bella before and they never actually flowered. I think it was a humidity issue. So, I mean, we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, a travesty happened. I repotted. <laughs> this. There used to be a pot on the bottom of these strings. And I had my geranium sitting in that pot and then I repotted it with new soil and for whatever reason, all of a sudden that night, like hours later, the pot just like came off the strings and fell and broke and made a huge mess. So I think I'm gonna tie this up and try to make like a new hanger, but I probably won't be able to fit this guy back in there. So he's kind of gonna have to just stay here. I potted up my avocado seed, so cute. It's doing way better than the last time I tried to grow an avocado from seed. It's got way more leaves. It's beautiful. Um, some exciting developments here. All of my lithops have put out new buds. All new buds. Like you see this guy's kind of in the middle of it. This guy's just starting. This guy's totally up. Totally up. All these new little guys. I would be so jazzed if these guys would flower for me this year. That would be the cutest thing ever. This is my silver squill. So happy. And this is its second flower spike already this year. And I wish I could get super close on these, but like they are the cutest, tiniest little flowers ever with just little white and green stripes on them. And then the, um, the sexy bits with pollen on them are like purple. They're so freaking cute. Look at how beautiful she is. Gorgeous. And then, da, 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 all of my violets are blooming and they're so beautiful. We got a beautiful fuchsia, it's beautiful plain white. Here, look at, look at that. Perfect white little flower. And then we've got this gorgeous periwinkle color, which I think that one is actually my favorite because it's just, you know, like indigo. It's like a bluey purple. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But then all three of them together, come on now. It doesn't get much better than that. Speaking of beautiful violets, I know I already showed this one, an update on this one on my last video, but it has even more open flowers on it now. And she's just an absolute beauty, an absolute beauty. Um, also, look at that. So I brought all this moss in from outside and there apparently was a teeny tiny liverwort in there. That's <laughs> so weird, <laughs> but I love it. I love it, look how big it's getting. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you liked my plants. Go and have yourself a real nice day and I'll see you next time.